Hello everyone, so welcome. This is the third project from the Frequent Camp uh, JS uh, Data Structures and Algorithm Projects. So this one is about the telephone uh, checker, telephone number validator. Uh, it's a telephone number validator that returns true or false. Uh, that depends on the number and uh, they're using the US valid uh, phone number. So I don't know a lot about that, but according to it, it's a uh, 10 number or 11 number if we include the first one. Uh, so in the first, uh, I think in the first project I used ledger expressions and this project also uses it. So you would have to know a thing or two about ledger expressions. I could link uh, sites in the description where you can test out your knowledge of ledger expressions and then learn a few things from it. Uh, but just to give you a uh, hint of how I did it. So I used regular expressions and maybe I could uh, explain this one I have right here. For those that don't know, regular expressions, they start with a forward slash and end with a... They start with a backward slash and end with a backward slash. So in between is where we uh, represent our regular expressions. So if this, this just means uh, it's global. So right now I have uh, the colored sign and one, then the question mark. So this means that our number, if it is to start, it is to start with one, but this makes it optional. Here it can start with a, so when I have uh, this backslash D, I mean a digit, and when I put them in the braces, I mean it can start, it can then have three digits that are inside uh, a parenthesis, just to cater for these uh, two digits here, two, two phone numbers here. I think that's how the US phone numbers look. Or, they could just be numbers that are not inside the uh, the parentheses. So this is what this means. Then I have uh, the item to separate them. And then the item to separate them, but this is optional too, as you just already with our question marks. And then I have uh, the last numbers are represented with uh, four digits. In this case, we have our uh, five, five, five. Then I have the dollar sign to represent the end of our regular expressions. So the carrot represents the beginning, the dollar sign represents the end. And I think uh, that's so uh, that you need to know for this program, especially if you are not from the US and you don't know a lot about their phone numbers. But I already I logged it out here. Let me uh, just return here. So then our radio expression dot test to check if our string uh, is true or not if it passes the radio expression test so if i'm to run it out here that will be node or telephone number validator and we get true. So if I'm to change uh, something, maybe start our number start with two five six. Uh, that's for Ugandan phone numbers. If I'm start that, I get false. So that's it for uh, this project it's testing your knowledge of radio expression since in the uh, JavaScript data structures and algorithms you uh, looked at that. So that will be it and i would recommend you check out radio expressions i'll put uh, two links in the descriptions and a link to the source code so thank you